Hello everyone, welcome to In 5 Minutes. In this video, we are going to see how to draw any curve. So why curves are important in Max 2? Because many topics of integration, we have the curves to draw the curves, to find the volume of the curve, to find the area of the curve, to find the length of the curves. So we have many such topics and curves are the very important to know how to draw any curve from the given equation. So for that, I am going to teach you four rules you just follow the four rules and you will draw any curves. First rule is whenever the given equation is linear in one variable or linear in two variable, then that equation will always represents a line that is x equal to phi is line parallel to y axis and x plus y equal to two is also a straight line. First rule is whenever we have the linear equation in one variable or linear equation in two variables then that equation will always represent a line linear means the power of x and y is always one this is the first rule second rule is equation is linear in one variable and quadratic in other variable so whenever we have the equation linear in one variable and quadratic in other variable say x and y square so one variable is x and it is linear other variable is y and it is quadratic that is y square whenever we have one variable which is linear and the other variable is quadratic then that equation always represents parabola so we will have the parabola y square equal to x or we can have x square equal to y we can also have y square equal to x minus 4x this is also a parabola because this equation is linear in x and quadrating in y so it will represent parabola so the second rule is if equation is linear in one variable and quadratic in other variable then it will always represents a parabola third rule is equation is quadratic in both the variables that is x square and y square so whenever we have the equation quadratic in both the variables we check whether coefficient of x square is equal to coefficient of y square or not if coefficient of x square is equal to y square then that equation will be circle for example x square plus y square equal to a square so we have the equation quadrating in both the variables and the coefficient of x square is also one coefficient of y square is also one then this equation represents circle then we have if the coefficient of x square is not equal to coefficient of y square then we have two conditions what if they are opposites so if, when the coefficient of x square is not equal to y square then we check for the sign if they have same sign or opposite sign if the sign is same then it is ellipse if the sign is opposite then it is a hyperbola that is let's say the coefficient of x square and y square is not equal so we will have x square upon a square plus y square upon b square equal to 1 so now the coefficient of x square is 1 upon a square and coefficient of y square is 1 upon b square so the coefficient are not equal so we will follow this we have same sign of x and y so it is an ellipse we can also have equation x square minus y square equal to 1 so now if you see coefficient of x is 1 and coefficient of y square is minus 1 so the coefficients are not equal but the sign are opposite to each other and this is the equation of parabola hyperbola so remember these are the three rules then we have the fourth rule so first both the variables are linear one is linear one is quadratic both are quadratic then the fourth will be one variable is quadratic another variable is cubic let's say our equation is quadratic in y and it is cubic in x so whenever we have this equation we have the four sub rules whenever we have this equation that is y square equal to x cube of something then we have the four rules these curves are always symmetric about x axis some of this curve will have asymptote asymptote is nothing but tangent meeting at the infinity whenever this curves cut x axis at two points then it will form a loop the curve will exist on one side of the loop not on the both the side so we will take example for this 